Hi dearest, I just discovered a new design for a crinoline rose. Yeah, let's get moving. So you need your scissors for this and your crinoline, the three inch width crinoline. You'll be needing your needle and thread, matching thread to the crinoline, your measurement tape. Yeah, I'm dancing. I'm so excited about this new design. <laughs> okay, so the first thing you want to do is to knot your edge the two edges of your crinoline now this crinoline inch the yard of this crinoline that's the length is um two yards i'm making use of two yards so that means if you want your row smaller you make use of less and if you want it bigger you make use of more i was playing a song yeah actually when i was doing this video and i was dancing so you might be catching me dancing from some time to time but let's get learning so you do the other edge as so so the next thing you want to do is take your needle and thread through the place you have sewn before now this enables it not to pull out and then we're going to do running stitches all through the length that's the two yards remember I said it's two yards that's 36 inches times two that is 72 inches so we're going to do running inches all the way down so keep watching and learning Okay, so if you cannot get any of these items in your local store, all you need to do is check the description of this channel. You will see Amazon, AliExpress, and my own link. All right, so if your thread finishes, all you just need to do is drag it like so because you don't need that much thread if you're squeezing it. Finally, I'm going to squeeze it. You get to know how many inches I squeezed it. Let's continue. So your thread actually should be like, I think 36 inches of thread should do. Or even less all right that was a long one but we're finally at the end so I'm gonna pull it and squeeze it all like that so the crinoline is pleated all through then I will show you how to make the rose out of this not your regular one that just turning around around no I found the new trick a new design that's one thing about crinoline you can do a lot with it that has not yet been discovered so we keep on discovering and discovering and discovering okay so what I did was to measure the crinoline now I am taking it bit by bit because you know it's already squeezed so what I want to do is to measure 18 inches why I'm doing this is just in case you need to make the same for like 10 people or 12 people you need to want to make them look the same so the next thing you fold like this can you see what I'm doing you fold the first part you fold the next can you see what I'm doing I'm just making like zigzag like so okay all the way from the first then the last one you're going to take it round okay like that after you've taken it round the next thing you do is to sew that length all through that you have taken it round so keep watching and learning once you finish you want to check and make sure there's none pulling out like that one I just saw so what just watch how I'm going to fix it I'm just going to raise it up and take my needle and thread and grab it like so so ensure you do that once you finish sewing to ensure that you've grabbed every single part of the crinoline rose okay okay once that's done you have your rose and you can use it to put on a hat wire fascinator on a turban on a hat do you want to see what i used it for do let me know in the comment section below and if you want to know more about crinoline how to make use of crinoline join our crinoline class by clicking the Devent craft academy link in the description below and making your request and if you enjoyed this video please do give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed you do want to click that subscribe button and also the bell so you get notified of all our upcoming trainings and you can move a step further and click the join button to assist the channel in growing and getting the gears and doing more videos for you that you enjoy. Yes, YouTube has given us that opportunity to have members for the channel. But this would not prevent us from putting up our usual videos that would help in your millinery journey. And before you go, do check out this other Crinoline Fascinator. Till we meet next time, is goodbye.